Looks like we're gonna be breaking some rules today. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm JB. And this is another episode of how to make your more last a lifetime. Today we're revving up this Honda for its very first time. We're setting ourselves up for success by doing a thorough engine break-in. Let's get it started. Now, just so we're clear here, I have done these procedures on all my other machines, plus many others. And I've had several small engine mechanics confirm these procedures over the years. And allow me to say this, if you have a method and it's working for you, stick with it. Here is my new Honda HRN 216 VKA lawnmower. I recently picked up this mower and I'll have that unboxing video linked down below in the description. I'll even have it linked right up here too. So Honda calls for us to pour this entire bottle of this 10W30 engine oil into this mower. Simply pour in the entire bottle and then let it settle for about the next five minutes. This will allow the oil to work its way down to all of its interior components. We're gonna start by removing the dipstick here on the side of the engine. We're gonna wipe off any excess oil and set that to the side. Now, for shipping purposes, Honda does send these mowers out with a tiny bit of oil in them. Don't worry about it, just pour that whole bottle right in. Now, according to the Honda owner's manual, Honda states to run the mower for approximately five hours and then change out the oil. Looks like we're gonna be breaking some rules today. I don't agree with what Honda is saying here. I think that five hours is far too long to be breaking in an engine. Here's why. So this is a lawnmower engine piston. For all intents and purposes here, my hand will act as the cylinder surrounding the piston. As the piston moves up and down through the cylinder, there will be friction. Friction creates wear, and wear creates tiny little particulates. Now some of these particulates may be big, some are small, or they even may be hard to see. And these little tiny particulates will end up in your engine oil as you start up your mower for the first time. And when we break in an engine, our goal is to have the piston set its groove properly into the cylinder and let all those particulates settle in the oil. Now we don't want those particulates sitting in there long, potentially causing damage to the cylinder, the piston, or any other internal components. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take out this bottle, cap it back up, and I'm gonna reinsert my dipstick. Now I'm gonna pour in some ethanol-free gas. And here's a little tip for you Honda HRN 216 lawnmower owners. According to the owner's manual, Honda states to fill your gas tank up to this little ridge right here inside the gas tank. Now you know exactly how high to fill that baby up. It's all good, baby, baby. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to run this mower outside in the driveway for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Engine has no oil. Add oil before starting the engine. Done. Now this is our first pull on this mower, and most engines nowadays should start on the first pull. A lot of reviews on this model said that it does start on the first pull. So let's give it a pull. Sounds great to me. Believe it or not, Honda actually does take the time to analyze the unique sound that that mower cranks out. Nice. That baby ran super smooth. Now this, in my opinion, is probably the best time, if not the most important time, to change that oil. Honda makes an oil change on this mower very easy. What we gotta do is just simply tip it over and I'm gonna try to catch a majority of that oil into this clear container. My hope is that we'll be able to see a lot of those particulates that are sitting inside that oil. Another great way to get the oil out of your mower is to get one of these oil extraction pumps. I'll have one of them linked down below in the description and I'll have a video linked down below as well that shows exactly how to use it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I just caught a majority of that oil here in this glass and the rest of it ended up in that pan down below. You can see I caught almost all of it. There's definitely a lot of little metal shards hiding in there. And if you ask me, this is extremely dirty for just 28 minutes of runtime. And I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick this up or not, but there are definitely little flakes suspended in this oil. There's one going down. There's one going down, there's one going down. I can see them, they're small. Doing this procedure is exactly why changing your oil is so important. So now you're probably asking yourself, JB, what's the next step? Well, let's fill her up. Let's stand this puppy up. 
Now, to finish the job, we must put some oil back in. Taking a look at our manual here, 5W30 or 10W30 motor oil will be perfect given our outside air temperatures. I have some full synthetic 5W30 motor oil here. And let me tell you something, all these small engines love full synthetic 5W30 motor oil. We're gonna stick in our funnel, and now we're gonna slowly pour in about 12 to 13 and a half ounces of motor oil. We're gonna check our dipstick. And this may be a little hard to see, but we are right at the top of our little threads here. Looks like we're all set. If you buy a big jug of oil like this, you're gonna be set for a while. At this point, because I'm a maniac about this new mower, I still plan on changing the oil at the five hour mark. Then after that, I'll be changing it every six months or every 50 hours, depending on how much I use it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a look at how to break in a brand new HRN 216 lawnmower. Doing this will definitely help your mower last a lifetime. I have done Dozens upon dozens of videos planned for this machine, so stay tuned. I'll even have this lawnmower plus all the tools I used today linked down below in the description. Please help me grow this channel. Share this video with a friend or family member. If you have any lawnmower tips or tricks that you would like to share, please do so down below in the comments. And if you're excited to see more of what's coming up with this mower, give me one of these. And if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.